Kerry, uh, to start, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Kerry Hauser, President and CEO of Colorado mm. Mountain College. And Kerry, in your opinion, what are some of the biggest challenges facing high school students in the 21st century? Well, the biggest one is that we need to get more of them to and through high school and to college uh, with some form of credential or post-secondary degree. Uh, in Colorado alone, uh, it's estimated that by the year 2020, 75 percent of all jobs in our state are going to require some form of post-secondary education and right now we have a huge structural deficit. Uh, when a ninth grader has about a 25 percent chance of earning uh, an associate or a bachelor's degree if they even get to college, we simply will not have enough skilled and trained workers in our state uh, with post-secondary credentials uh, to fill our workforce and the jobs of the future. What does CMC currently do in partnership with local high schools that support their students' college and career preparation? Well, we uh, serve a, uh, we have 11 campuses, the college does. Uh, we serve a 12,000 square mile footprint in the Central Rockies. We have 25 high schools, 13 school districts within that footprint. Uh, so we're very, very closely connected to all of our high schools, including Yampa. Uh, and we see our success uh, based on the success of our high schools. We partner very closely uh, in concurrent and dual enrollment uh, to make sure that every young person is ready for college bearing coursework when they finish high school. And even better, if they have an associate degree or a credential by the time they graduate from high school, then they go off and already have that credential in hand. Uh, so we work very closely with our high schools in that regard. We also, for the, for the last two years, uh, have offered a $1,000 scholarship to every local high school graduating senior in our nine county uh, service area and we're very proud of that it gives students a huge head start to attend CMC uh, we hope that they will graduate debt free uh, that they'll be able to enroll full-time and finish their degree and credential much more quickly so that they can get into that workforce uh, and fill all those jobs that are going to require some form of post-secondary education uh, within the next five years we're so lucky to have uh, CMC in our community. Uh, in regards to uh, what CMC can uh, provide, um, how would CMC be able to support Yampa Mountain High School, uh, their students, their learning, engagement, development, and connection to uh, post-secondary success? Well, we hope to be uh, very connected to all of our high schools, and certainly if, if Yampa is taking on the big challenge of becoming the next iteration of a high school, um, as an innovative student-centered college, we would hope to be very much at the table in that regard. Um, education, K-12 and higher education, um, have not changed much over the last hundred years. It is essentially a similar model um, that it's been since, they, the, the, since K-12 and higher education were con created. And the world has changed around us. And if we have the opportunity to work with Yampa, and Yampa is taking the big step uh, to be different and to uh, get ahead of all of the trends that are coming our way. Um, CMC very much hopes to be right at the table and to innovate and create something very new uh, that serves students and communities very well. What do you think of our super school vision for redefining high school education based on the individual students' passions and interests with the goal of ensuring that every student has a viable career option in the field they are passionate about and skilled in by the time they graduate high school? Well, the more that we can do exactly what you've just, just described, the better off we all are. Currently, uh, the, the United States uh, boasts a trillion dollars in student debt. Uh, students are pursuing educational paths where they may or may not end up with a job afterwards. Uh, they have huge financial uh, burdens. Uh, they can't immediately buy a house, buy a car, uh, be very active um, participants in the economy. So the more that we can work with students to match their skills and um, the job sectors of the future, whether that's through apprentice programs, internships, um, experiential learning, any way that a student can as early as possible click into uh, a path that he or she will be um, excited about, uh, that will be a job for um, their future, uh, and that they're not immediately straddled with huge debt, financial burden, or a job that really just doesn't lead to you know, a future career, uh, the better off we all are. So if we can do that way in advance, and if we can do that based on uh, the model that, that Yampa High School is, is pursuing, we love to be at the table for that. One last question, Carrie. 
if you were to talk to your high school self, what would you advise yourself in high school? Oh gosh, that's a scary question. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I would advise myself to stay on a really um, concentrated academic path. Uh, the more that students can stay in core subjects, particularly in the senior year of high school, so that they don't um, get fuzzy on math and English and core competencies, the better off they're going to do in college, the better off they're going to be able to stay on track, graduate on time, pursue um, post-secondary education without sort of being behind the starting line. Uh, so my recommendation to my former self is as much as you like to say, oh, I've hit the senior year and I can coast a little bit, I can take my afternoons off, I can do something a little bit different, I can go work. Um, my recommendation is to stay in school. It will pay off and you'll finish quicker. So you'll get that year back as you finish quicker as opposed to taking it between your senior year of high school and your first year of college. Thank you so much, Carrie.